Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So if you catch your mind back to a couple of weeks ago, we had an announcement of a brand new figure coming from Green Wolf. And this was like a high-end Imperial Guard figure. Now, they were launching a Kickstarter and the Kickstarter is now live. At the time we're recording the Kickstarter right now, it is at £20,000 and their pledge goal is 65000 There's 108 backers and of course it's 29 days to go now we have a little bit more information actually about the product as a whole and what you would get if you become a backer of this kickstarter now as you can see from the image in the background these are highly detailed models i would suggest that if you are probably going to be back in this you're someone who collects these sort of one six scale figures around 30 centimeters there's a little diagram they put there 30 centimeters but they're highly detailed figures this is something that's going to go on a display shelf in a display cabinet something that really lights up your room something that is like instant eye candor to 40k and collectors of this type of stuff now before we go into the actual add-ons and like uh, bonuses to them reaching their goal and what other features you will get let's actually look at the pledges how much is this going to cost you so over on kickstarter there's a couple of ways they do this first things first you can pledge without reward that means that if you want to just give them money and you get nothing in return you support the project but you know you just don't have the money to actually buy the product then you can do it that way you can pay one pound or more again to support the project you get nothing in return but if you actually want one of these figures you want to you know invest into it and get this off kickstarter then the first tier comes in at 180 pound and with that you get the full 1-6 scale Astra Militarum Cadian officer that includes a, um, a, a, a limited design uh, for the packaging for Kickstarter. So um, I have no idea how they plan to general sell this, but it seems here reading this that if you do become a Kickstarter, then you get a special packaging that um, shows that you you supported this during its Kickstarter stages. The other two tiers are basically buying two of them. So it's a £360 is the next tier. You just get exactly the same, but you get two of these scale figures in there. And the third tier is £540 and you get free of the 1-6 scale Cadian officer figures in this package as well. And that is it. That is all the tiers that they have at this moment in time. Now, from my previous video I did on this subject, uh, and there was a lot of talk about the price, and one of the things that got brought up a lot is, you know, it's a bit expensive. I would say that if someone is going to be backing this, if someone is going to be buying this product, then it's aimed at a certain individual. Certain collectors enjoy these kind of products. They enjoy putting them on their shelves, in their display cabinets, that kind of stuff. Even some 40K fans will see this as like, you know, a Cadian officer and go, wow, this is 40K, this looks brilliant, I'm gonna buy this because that's what some 40k people do. Myself, I'm going to be buying this just to put it on my shelf, just so when people come into my like gaming slash hobby room, they are instantly drawn to this piece of eye candy on the shelf, and it just has that rule of cool factor. But as I said, I completely understand if someone has the opposite viewpoint to that and says, no, it's too expensive, it's not worth it, it's just not for me. Now, for those of you who are thinking of kickstarting, let's go through some of the information. One of the main titles here is Why Cadian Officer. Well, the rule of cool. Cadians are awesome. Uh, the guard, you know, uh, sorry, the planet broke before the the guard did you have all these cool all of them cadians are iconic they're probably one of the most iconic imperial guard regiments that's what it goes in and mentions here about the officer cadian all that kind of stuff i have heard through the grapevine that this is just the start though apparently the next product is supposed to be a space marine and that really gets my gears going because if they can like ap apply the detail that i'm seeing here to this cadian officer to something like uh, a black templar an imperial fist a reclaimer of dawn wink wink then and wow, I would be absolutely amazed to see something like that brought to life in such detail. So some of the add-ons it has here, and it has a nice little image, by the way. And the first thing I noticed is that I think those eyes are painted purple. Do, do my eyes deceive me? I don't think so. So they're really looking at this um, from a Cadian viewpoint, because for those of you who don't know, um, pure Cadians, Cadians from Cadia, their eyes are purple. You know, probably down to all warp shenanigans from looking at the rift well not the rift um, um the eye of terror all the time um so additional other items and a power sword the officer's head the officer's helmet so he has a helmet version he has his little flat cap version and he also has like yeah, um, his flak helmet as well just in case he's got to be grenades exploding um around your office 
And some more information attached to this, it says here, each figure will consist of the following parts. One officer head sculpt with bionic eye, one officer's hat, one neck gorget, one chest and back armor, one left and right shoulder pad, uh, sorry, shoulder armor, not shoulder pad, and one belt and belt buckle, one trousers, um, pants, that is in brackets, um, one jacket, one chainsaw, one last pistols with removable magazine, one last pistol um, holster, one last pistol magazine pouch, one spare last pistol fits in the last pistol magazine pouch, it says, one water canteen, one water canteen pouch, one bayonet, fix bayonets, one bayonet sheath, two grenades, one pair of leather boots, uh, b boots, not poops, <laughs> one set of ankle putties complete with armor, two pairs of hands. It's like it's, you know, I'm being equipped to go out to war if I'm bloody got to be purchasing one of these. It says, in addition, each Kickstarter will receive a specially commissioned artwork sleeve for their product box. Um, it says in brackets, we will keep backers informed on the design after the Kickstarter campaign has ended and before deliverer. One commissioned artwork card, reverse side will contain a checklist of all contents and accessories included uh, with your reward. Um, it says A5 shown on the left. Uh, one certificate of uh, authenticity as well. And you can see the images in the background. So the certificate and the little bit of um, art sleeve that you get as well. Now, of course, since this is Kickstarter, um, an incentive to kickstart the project is always goals. And the goals attached to this one. So goal one, if unlocked, would be an officer's skull cane. So like a Fabius Bile kind of, you know, pimp cane, let's say. Um, goal number two would be a power fist um, in a closed hand. You can just see the closed hand there at the side of it. I really love power fists on Imperial Guard. I think they're so cool looking. And goal three would be, again, a power fist, but this time it would be an open hand power fist. And again, you can just make out the actual, like, open hand of the power fist. Like, he's like, come at me, or, you know, where thou shalt, Romeo, and stuff like that bloody thing that's Shakespeare. -y. But yeah, three goals so far in this project all look like pretty cool goals. So just to finish the video off, what is the timeline of this? What if you become a Kickstarter of this? How long is it going to take for you to get to you? Well, it says here, the launch is, of course, today, the 6th of October, if you're watching this video as it goes live. Um, it ends on the 5th of November. The mold's preparation and production is going to be between October and November of this year, 2020. And it says 60 days lead time. January slash February 2021, test molds for any defects and repairs necessary. Mid-February 2021, Chinese New Year, work halts china wide period for two to three weeks yes because china has their new year that time and like if, if any productions in china everything just goes um basically on hold and um, march 2021 factory paints test and molded parts first quality assurance inspection april 2021 factory now kicks into, into production mode and uh, commences work on all parts and um, mid-may 2021 production completes and final assembler into packaging late 2021 items prepaid and sent to the uk by sea freight and um, we it says we then need to wait uh, for the ship and container to reach the uk normal sailing time from from china is around 25 to 30 days and um, goods inspected and custom checks completed and delivered to our warehouse goods will be inspected on arrival for any damages once in our warehouse and before delivery commences delivery to backers commences on june 2021 with all backers reward sent out by mid july 2021 so it's saying by july 2021 you should have the product in your hands anyway chaperoneos that is me done for another video i would be really interested to see who is going to be buying one of these? Please let me know if you actually are a Kickstarter, you're going to Kickstart. Are you interested in the actual Cadian officer? Are you interested in maybe like the uh, the Space Marine if they bring that out? Or maybe you're interested maybe if they do like another Xenos race. And if so, what Xenos race would you like them to actually do? Put it all down below in the comment section and we'll have a nice little talk down there as we always do. See you now. Have a great day and bye-bye.